In this video, we visit Amsterdam Noord, which is a very unique industrial and hip neighborhood to visit in Amsterdam. Here you can find really cool museums, restaurants and activities. Hello, my name is Janika. I am an expat from Finland living in the Netherlands and welcome to this travel vlog. Today I am in Amsterdam, but the plan is not to be in the regular Amsterdam. We are taking the ferry over to North Amsterdam, which is a bit of a different kind of neighborhood than the Amsterdam that you're maybe used to. To get there, you need to take a ferry. Luckily, the ferry is free and it leaves behind the central station. There are several different ferries that you can take. Today, we are choosing this ferry that goes to Bijksloterwei. But this is the ferry you should choose if you want to visit Adams Tower or the Film Eye Museum, for example. I also have two previous vlogs where I've already visited some of the places in North Amsterdam. So if you're interested to see what Adams Tower or the Wonder Experience is like, I'll link them down below. We have crossed over the water and we are now only like less than five minutes later on the other side. Yeah, it's a very fast and easy place where to come to, so you should definitely visit. I do think this is a neighborhood that's very overlooked and a lot of people don't realize to come here. Now the plan is to first have something to eat and I'm sorry if it looks like I'm crying. It's, uh, I'm not crying. It's just I have very sensitive eyes when it comes to wind and the Netherlands is a very windy country. It makes my eyes water and look like I've been crying. Crying, but <laughs> don't worry I'm fine oh my god it's so windy <sighs> and cold the wind makes it really cold I have found my way to a restaurant. It was so windy outside, like it looks really lovely. The sun is shining and the sky is blue. It's a pretty day, but the wind is ice cold and really strong. And I was just waiting to <laughs> find some place inside very quickly. Luckily, most of my activities today are inside, except for walking from one place to another. But yeah, I came to a really, really cool looking restaurant. This wasn't the one I was planning to come originally, but it's called Public Space. And yeah, it has a bit this like minimalistic style here and it's really cool. Okay, so the food here seems very fancy. And half of the <laughs> menu, I don't really understand what it is, even though it's in English. I have no idea what Calcot Espuma is. What is Mole pub Poblano? Maybe I'm just uncivilized. Okay, so the food has arrived and it looks very interesting. I have the mushroom and the sauce and then I have this Japanese style milk bread. Let's try it. Okay, I'm gonna try the bread with the sauces first. Mm. Let's try some of these weird looking mushrooms. definitely think this is a very unique experience uh, to have food wise and the place is really cool so I definitely recommend coming to try out this place however I don't think it is very suitable for small children I don't think they would enjoy this kind of food they do also have just like a cafe thing as well so if you want just the, I saw they have like cinnamon buns and coffees and stuff so you can also just come for that
have arrived to our first activity of the day and it is the Eye Film Museum. It's a very unique looking building right by the water. I've always wanted to visit. I know they show some films here and they have a museum about the history of like film and filmmaking and they have a cafe and restaurant. Yeah, there's supposed to be a lot inside here. There are two exhibitions. There's a permanent exhibition and then there's some kind of yeah, exhibition that's only temporary. So we're gonna see both. Okay, this is some kind of pod where you can choose, I think, a short movie that you want to see. Okay, so it seems like this movie is over one hour long. Um, I don't think I want to sit here for an hour. Now done with the exhibitions. Permanent exhibition that they have here was surprisingly small. It was just basically two rooms. But then this exhibition that is the changing one, that one was really good and very interesting. It was about like women from Uzbekistan. And now I came to the cafe slash restaurant that we have in this building. It's a very cool cafe space. There are like huge windows all around and there are several different levels where you can sit. I decided to sit quite high up. Okay, this whipped cream is probably the saddest whipped cream <laughs> I've seen. <laughs> it's so flat. Whoa. Oh man, I'm supposed to leave and I have totally forgotten <laughs> which locker was mine. After trying through an embarrassing amount of lockers, <laughs> I was finally able to find mine, so don't be like me. Take a picture or write down the number of your locker and don't forget it like I did. Afterwards, I met up with a friend and we went together to a place called Next Museum, which is a really cool place with changing exhibitions. I've been here once before, a year ago, but back then the rooms were totally different. This time, the theme of the exhibition was UFO. How you use me determines decide who to give the hat to. <laughs> it's glitching. <laughs> I don't have a migraine today because this would have been bad in that case. 
We came now to a bar that's right next to the museum and after this we'll soon be going for dinner but it doesn't open yet the restaurant so we came for some drinks first. Did you like the museum? Yes, I loved it. It was really cool. cool. Alright, let's get something to drink. came to this Eritrean cuisine restaurant and we both ordered this portion where you could basically choose three smaller portions. Mine has three different vegetarian portions and then my friend has three different meat portions. So yeah, we decided because we didn't really know at all what to eat. I've never been to an Eritrean restaurant before. So I thought getting the portion with three different dishes was a good idea. It's a very cool interior here. They have nice music and a fake safari window thing going on and it's a very big place. I love trying new foods and cuisines so yeah this is super fun. We are having quite an early dinner tonight uh, in the typical Dutch way so we're having dinner already at 5 30 p.m. <laughs> Nice. Okay, what shall I try first? Mm -hmm. Going for the chicken. Wow. That's good. Mm. Yeah. The bread is a bit like uh, sour almost. Yeah. Sour, uh, salty, and spicy. Yeah. Oh my god. This is very nice. The meat. <laughs> Potato sandwich. You never eat meat? You're convinced uh, I haven't eaten meat since 2017, January. Hmm. Oh man, the food was really good, but I am so full. We weren't able to finish it all. I am now back home, but I had a really lovely time today exploring Amsterdam North. It was fun to visit the museums and see some art and also to try a bit more unique foods today. The Eritrean was new for me and also the lunch that I had was a bit something different. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in my next adventure. Bye bye!